Google have recently released another algorithm update called the Helpful Content Update. And the question in today's video is, is AI content going to be penalized in the algorithm update? And the answer to this question is yes and no. So let's get some clarity on this question. I'm Taryn from Informer AI. If you've been in the SEO world for a little while, there has been this forward and back around AI content. Can Google detect AI content? And is AI content going to be penalized by Google? And the truth of the matter is that in the latest update, the helpful content update, Google does not specifically speak about AI content, but we still need to take what Google are saying about this um, helpful content update, and we need to use that when we are writing blog posts. Now, let me show you exactly what the helpful content update is all about. So this is directly from Google. This is what Google is saying the helpful content update is about. Firstly, they really want you to focus on people first content. You are writing for your audience. You are not writing for search engines. You are writing for real people with real problems and real questions. And so Google want to make sure that they are offering their users the very best content that is on offer, that is accurate, that is reliable, and that shows that you have true knowledge and expertise in the topic that you're talking about. So let's have a look. Here are some of the questions, some of the guidelines that Google are giving us. Do you have an existing or intended audience for your business or site that would find the content useful if they came straight to you? Does your content clearly demonstrate firsthand expertise and a depth of knowledge? Google wants to know that you are an expert in this field. Does it have a primary focus? So is your website about one specific topic or is it a little bit of a shotgun approach where we talk about a little bit of everything? Because that does not necessarily show depth and expertise in a specific topic. After reading your content, will someone leave feeling that, they know, that they've learned enough to achieve their goal? So we're looking for well-rounded topics, well-rounded blog posts where you've answered every single element of that question that you can possibly answer. Will someone reading your content leave feeling like they've had a satisfying experience so you're not just spamming, you're not throwing a whole lot of ads in there. It's a helpful, good user experience. And then there's some avoiding creating content for, for search engines first. Okay, so this is what Google is saying. Are you simply summarizing what other people have written? Are you, is it light and fluffy? You, you're trying to match a certain number of, of words. So you're writing a 3000 word article when actually to answer the question, you could do it in a thousand word article. Are you um, trying to just do keyword stuffing? These are all the things that Google are looking out for. So now that we know a little bit about the helpful content update, how does that apply to AI content and content that's generated by Jasper AI? Can you still use an AI writing tool like Jasper to generate your blog content? And the answer is absolutely 100% yes. Let me show you how. So I've just logged into Jasper and for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go through my documents. And um, this is available for those of you who are bus mode users. And I'm going to use power mode. Okay, so let's say I'm writing a topic on type 1 diabetes. Now, the reason that I've chosen this topic, firstly, is that my husband is diabetic. So I have some experience in type 1 diabetes and I have some knowledge about type 1 diabetes. And the other reason is that it's a little bit more technical than your average blog post. It's a little bit more medical. So let's type in a prompt of what is a healthy healthy HbA1c for type 1 diabetics. Okay, so this I'm using the one shot blog post. It's new in beta, but hopefully it's going to spit out an entire blog post for us. Okay, let's have a look at how specific and how personal Jasper can make this blog post. So achieving a healthy H, uh, HbA1c is, a, is the blog post topic. And then it goes into some specific descriptions around what an HbA1c and how it pertains to a type 1 diabetic. The thing is that this article could have been taken from anywhere on the internet, okay? It could have been a summary of a previous article that you may have found on Healthline or WebMD. So it's not particularly personal, it's not particularly, um, it doesn't necessarily show a level of expertise. So how can we add to this topic? Well, firstly, you could talk about your last HbA1c results. I could mention my husband's HbA1c results. We can talk about how his HbA1c has changed over the last 25 years of having diabetes. We can talk about some of the anxiety around 
getting your HbA1c or doing the blood tests. You can see how we can take this topic that is very general and make it very specific. We can talk about how my husband's diet has changed over the years and how that change in diet has led to lowering his HbA1c. Can you see how we are taking this information, this blog post that Jasper has given us, and we are going to add to it. We're going to supplement it with our own knowledge. Can you still use Jasper? Absolutely, you can still use an AI content generator, but an AI content generator in and of itself is not necessarily going to produce the um, expertise, the level of knowledge and depth that you need in your article. So Jasper AI is still a wonderful tool. It is absolutely something that we should be using in writing blog posts and generating content. But more importantly, what's more important than Jasper is your specific knowledge around the topic, how you can make this the best possible art, uh, article that you can to make sure that there is nothing quite like it available on the internet. And that is where your role as a, as a content writer, as an expert comes in. So Jasper is a tool and you are the one driving the tool and you are still the one generating that really good quality content. So will the Google help for content update impact on the use of AI content writing tools? My answer is no. My answer is you can absolutely use these tools, but make sure that you are adding to it, that you are bringing the depth of knowledge that only you have. Jasper does not have the experience and the wealth of knowledge that you have. So you need to make sure that you are supplementing those articles. Now, if you want to explore Jasper, because I really believe that it's an amazing tool and that it can give you um, a huge advantage in writing articles and in producing good quality content for your audience. So if you want to check out Jasper and you want to have a, a trial of Jasper, click on the link below you'll get 10,000 free words that you can access and explore Jasper and see exactly what Jasper is about and how you can use it in your business. I'll see you on the next video.